The race is on to develop the next generation of obesity medications. Why? Well, the makers of terzepatide and semaglutide have made a ton of money with those drugs and everybody's talking about them. But what's coming down the pike? What's next? That's the big question. So it's unclear whether compounding pharmacies will continue to make their knockoff cheaper versions of the anti-obesity medications that are out there now. But what is clear is that the more medications we get to the market, the cost of all of the medications will be driven down. And there'll be more options, which is also good. So there won't be any uh, supply chain shortages or issues with people getting their medications because they'll be out there and there'll be lots of different choices. So the difference between terzepatide and semaglutide is important to understand because while they both target what's called the GLP-1 receptor, terzepatide also targets a different receptor called GIP. Now the newer drugs are gonna at least target two different mechanisms and the buzziest ones, which are called the triple G medications, are targeting three different receptors. And if you look at this image here, this outlines all the different drugs that are out there. There are a ton of them. There's even an oral form of Wagovi or uh, Ozempic that's being trialed. So lots of great options. And some of them are, are tackling mechanisms that are newer and less well understood, but again, might provide different options for different patients. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really understand why there's a spine in this figure, but I think it's just meant to show you that there are different drugs that work on different uh, places in the intestine or the pathways or whatever. So the earliest that we're likely to see any of these drugs, and some of them are actually pretty far along in trials, is probably 2026. And the early results that have been released from many of these medications don't necessarily show greater weight loss than what terzepatide is producing now. But that's okay. That's not really that important. It's really supposed to be about getting healthy more than about the absolute weight loss. And all of these drugs are likely to help in that regard. The second image you see here now is a different way of looking at the same thing, which is a lot of different drugs with a lot of different mechanisms. Now, the other good news about the different mechanisms is if you don't respond to one particular medication that targets, let's say, GIP and GLP-1, you might try a different medication that targets GLP-1, but one of the other receptors that's in this list. And then again, those triple Gs that are GLP-1, GIP, and then something called glucagon, which is a um, sugar regulating uh, hormone, you know, maybe that's the most exciting. Maybe that's the one that's gonna have the greatest impact. Sort of on the temper your expectation side, even if 20% of your total body weight loss is all any of these newer medications achieve, which is about what you get from terzepatide, then making it to market is important. It increases availability, it drives down prices, and like I said, it might give people options. It might help us understand what works for one group of people and not for a different group of people. So, you know, don't expect too much too soon, but the change is coming and it's coming in a way that's gonna help all of us. So I'll do another episode on some of these meds when they officially make it to market. And of course, subscribe to my channel and you can get all these videos anytime you want.